So right now I'm on my way to the grocery store, which in the past has been uh, something that's been really difficult for me to navigate. Um, I think just because I'm, it's been really tough to be around large groups of people and in confined spaces and um, but here, within the last six months, uh, it's been something that I'm able to do on my own. This really is an outward sign of growth where I don't have to live in the disorder from post-traumatic stress anymore. So for the last 10 years, I've been on this journey to recover from my experiences in combat. You know, there, there was a time where it, it just seemed like there was no hope and um, the despair um, was just so heavy that it, it seemed like there was no other way out and um, those uh, the the idea that suicide um, was was like the the only ticket for me um, was was something that that I dealt with so I am a soldier was a soldier, I think was is the more appropriate word. Um, I, uh, I enlisted in the Army National Guard uh, back in uh, January of 2000. It seemed to be a natural fit for me because I, I really loved um, taking care of other people and I really loved um, training them and uh, ensuring that you know what what we were doing as a team was going to be successful. Uh, you good? Hope you got your your uh, pin in this time. All right. All right. Let's try that again. Charge to the front. Fighting stance. Ready? Up. There are things with my physical body that that prevents me from being a soldier anymore. And, um, and when my identity was totally wrapped up in that, and, and they told me that I couldn't be a soldier anymore and I couldn't wear my uniform, like that was crushing for me. I work for a nonprofit called Reboot Combat Recovery. Reboot is unique that we help veterans and their families specifically get healing from soul wounds. And the main way we do that is through these combat trauma healing courses. We talk about things like forgiveness, being able to forgive ourselves for things that we might have done in combat, being able to forgive our other people, being able to forgive our enemy. What you got today? Hey, uh, chicken curry stew with oh rice. Oh my gosh. So jump, jump in there. Ah, oh, sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. Do you want us to start with this one or with this uh, one? With that one, right? This the, one? Yeah, the one that's still oh warm. Gosh. Yeah. Good to see you. Glad you can make it. Absolutely. Hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I like your sweater. Thank you much. I'm an Argyle Hello. fan, personally. Yeah. <laughs> really digging into things around oh, anger you, or yeah, guilt some, uh, or grief uh, and even uh, identity. Chicken curry stew over rice. Oh, oh, yeah. so and there's no good. There's so no good. Uh, shell no fish. Yeah. 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 You should yeah. Bowls, bowls are over there on the left. Yeah, yeah. We've had over um, 600 people that have gone through our 
program and 87% of those people actually complete the course and then we've got about 30, I think it's around 30% of those actually come back and lead other groups. We're just trying to keep straight face the whole time. We're just like, like, sir, we don't go outside. Oh my God. <laughs> we don't go outside. <laughs> and then another thing that we're proud of, none of our participants have, have died by suicide. And what we are seeing is that when these soul wounds are being healed, that the veteran experiences um, acceptance. And we think that oftentimes suicide is a result of not being accepted. So, you know, it, I don't know if we're saying we're a cure for the suicide epidemic, but I, I really think what our combat trauma healing courses gives the veteran another option. And that is huge. Reboot Combat Recovery has made a huge impact on my life, you know, for a, a, a few different reasons. One, identity is something that we talk about in the Combat Trauma Healing Course, and that I think out of out of everything in that course, the week that we talk about identity is the thing that I struggled with the most. Now finding Reboot and going through the healing course myself then facilitating it as a leader and then now actually being a part of the staff of the organization has brought purpose back into my life and is helping me to uh, find my identity again and and it's also allowing me to help other veterans and their families so I'm experiencing healing for myself and at the same time I'm helping others find it as well. And that is very fulfilling for me. Um, that gives me purpose that I feel like I've been lacking for a long time. And uh, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that.